hang in there. This pandemic isn't going to last forever. I promise. Not forever. We'll get through it. We will. It's still snowing. We got over here again, man. Kisses. He says no thanks. But Holly's like, I'll have my kisses. Hi, baby. Snowing again. Want to come up to the room? Go into the room. I got class. Wanna come with me? Yes. A big stretch. What a big stretch for a little girl. What a big stretch for a little girl. Yeah. 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 Ye
When, Brianna? I know, I hear we're supposed to get it on Monday, too. No, oh, for heaven's sakes. I know. Come on. Cupcakes and a cake. It's Friday afternoon. I just made a cake for my mother-in-law and my father-in-law. They're both of them. Um, their birthdays were yesterday and then two weeks prior. So I'm gonna make a cake for them this weekend. And I made a few extra cupcakes for the house. And let's see what's happening outside. It is still snowing. Still been doing this for days. It's snowing there too. How do you like that? I don't see any wildlife. Sometimes I do. <laughs> so it is still snowing. It's six o'clock. <laughs> it's so funny. So I just completed an hour long, an hour long workshop on Insight Timer, spatial awareness and intention setting with Ruben something something. So I started using this this app instead of the one I used to because they have um, a much broader variety of programs and live workshops and I really like it. I really like the, the app because you start off free and then you can either subscribe or just continue free. Anyway, and you can have a community in a circle so it was fun being on a live one where I could actually live talk. But look at that snow, still falling. The dogs need to go out and John's over here busy in the kitchen. That's a wonderful sight. I'm gonna go out in the snow. Dale and I just made this. Shamrock. Is that cool? We're waiting for it to dry. We just sat down here in the sunshine. We're doing some arts and crafts, and I don't know. I was just showing Daniel this one picture here that I want to do something like this one with him. The first thing we need to do is prepare the canvas. So we're going to get some base on there. Oh, where is it? Our dark sky. I'm holding the brush in his hand so he can see it. Okay. Beautiful, Daniel. Gotta let that dry now. It's too much work being me sometimes. How's your coffee? My coffee's good. Nice. It's hard being you, isn't it? It is hard being me sometimes. It kind of is. But very rewarding. You got a lot of stuff going on. You just went to CBS. You had your code issues, and then you had your, I, your yeah. camera issues, and your purse issues, and your coffee cake issues. Yeah. I'm having a cinnamon it's coffee hard. cake from Starbucks. Are you sure you don't want some? No, I'm good. It's nice and warm. No, thank you. We're out riding orange on a Sunday morning. We have a nurse until 3 o'clock. So, it's 11.17. We're in the CBS. Did you bring your computer? Yeah. I have to go to my parents' house and try to help them register for their second COVID shot because life is a challenge when you're 84 years old and have a computer sitting in front of you. Yeah, so. And, uh, so we're gonna give them a hand with that. And we have birthday cake for mom and pop and birthday cards. And both of my in-laws' birthdays are in February. And so happy birthday to them. Their birthdays were the fourth and the 18th. Right? Or yeah. six, six or fourth? Sixth, I think. I don't know, they're two weeks apart, so. If you get one date right, you'll get the second one right. <laughs> right. <laughs> and then Thomas's birthday is the 25th, yeah. and that's um, that's coming up this week. So we're gonna try to th think about what to do for Thomas, because he's in Boston. Sarah's still home studying her little brains out, and it's a beautiful blue day. 
and no, it's not snowing today. Remember, I was like, every day, more snow, more snow. snow tomorrow. But yeah, it's supposed to snow tomorrow. So welcome to Connecticut in the winter. Come on guys, keep going up the trail. Gotta get our exercise. They're like little rabbits. <laughs> Come on, Henry. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just gonna set it on top and you'll see that as you go over it, it clicks right into place. What are you working on? Well, I'm actually not doing anything for school right now. Oh, I just had soup. Soup. And some bread and a clementine. Okay. It's friggin' very tired I'm just sitting here I was trying to edit and I found that I was doing this you know where you're not off <laughs> ah. so here's the proof I'm trying to get through editing this 12 minute video and I'm so I'm so sleepy plus I have heat going okay so I had lunch which was Sarah's homemade broccoli soup. It was great. She did a good job with it. I gotta take a break because uh, I gotta order some groceries from Instacart. <sighs> Here I go again. I'm so sorry. I don't know what happens to me. Time to take the dogs out on a slushy, snowy day on a Monday. It's been kind of slow, relaxed, kind of meh. But we're going out now. <sighs> wow. What a day. Monday. It was a Monday. Monday. Kind of Monday. Today was quiet. We had a nurse here. Daniel had therapy. And went in the stander. We didn't do the walker today because it's a little tricky. So we'll talk about that more. He has finished his Dynavox demo. See that big box on my table? Because I gotta package it up. They gave me a shipping box to send it back. The computer and the floor mount stand. Because they're gonna start the paperwork to get him his own. So I had to select which floor mount um, I would prefer for him today. And hopefully everything goes through and he gets his own Toby Dynavox computer. And we'll just resume the training that we've been doing. When we switch back to the iPad, I notice he'll just be staring at it, and so he probably thinks his eyes are gonna make the iPad go. <coughs> so, eventually, and unfortunately, the iPad is an Apple, is a Mac, and the, you know, operating system, and the the new computer, Dynavox Toby, is, is Windows-based. He'll be using that more, and hopefully we can get some of the same things on there. A lot of similar things for him. But I do want him to still be, you know, using the iPad, because he does pretty good with some things. So, it's all good. The Toby's really more for communicating. We'll see what happens. We, have, we need to have a lot of training still, and it was really just to see if he could get the basic idea about it. Cause there's a lot of things like I didn't know how to do to program it and things like that. So yeah, I'm doing good. I'm just, just dealing with this ex ridiculousness and my leg started hurting really bad. So just, just so in case anybody's wondering what the hell is wrong with me. Well, I have fibromyalgia first of all. Okay. So I've had that since I was in my late thirties and sometimes it's very, very bad. So that's why I can be, 
ah, oh, you know, ah, oh, everything hurts kind of thing, right? It's very bad. So I've been dealing with that for a long time. And that aside, physically, I was great, you know, in um, terms of muscles and I was in pretty good physical shape enough never had any trouble with my back until a couple years ago now three years ago i was walking the dogs and i slipped on a nasty patch of ice on the side of the house and i fell um my legs went out from underneath and i fell really hard on my right hip and hip and back like and I, like right on it boom and ever since i had the fall i had pain in my back that's kind of where it started so I went and had the first MRI and they said that the disc was um, slightly herniated or bulging um, there wasn't any arthritis in my back like other than uh, I have some in my neck a little bit so that started me down the road of having back in issues which is a pain because I've been lifting Daniel for, you know, 20 something years and then all of a sudden that happened. So it was really unfortunate. So I've been to uh, see the back surgeon and he said, this is what we can do. We can go in there and do whatever the surgery is called. Um, there's no other serious spinal issues in there. It's just that one little piece of disc that puts the pressure on the, um, the sciatic nerve. I didn't nerve. get that. Could you try again? <laughs> no, thank you. Um, okay. my, my watch is talking. Oops. I said sciatic. I think it thought I said Siri. I don't know. So yeah, so that's what happened. And so that sciatic pain. So I started seeing, I saw the surgeon. He's like, we don't have to do it right now. You should try other measures. So they started giving me the spinal epidurals, which the first several did pretty well. Um, the last one, I had just had it. I had talked about it in the in the vlog. And then all of a sudden, I've been feeling pain again really fast. Like, it didn't even take, like, but it was different pain. It was, like, down lower on my leg. And it's, like, excruciating nerve pain in one part of my leg on the bottom. So I've been doing yoga and stretching and, doing all, you know, but... Um, I went to see the doctor again and they said, well, it's a little too soon to have another, you can't have another shot. And they said, make another appointment with the surgeon, see what they think, but also uh, maybe go see a chiropractor. So I did that and they started acupuncture, which was interesting. I had never had that dry needling, you know, where they poke you with needles. I had no idea what I was doing. I'm like, I heard this helps people. I've never had it done before, so I just went in there and he adjusted me slightly and um, and that actually helped. And then he said, I'm going to do some dry needling to release the muscle. And I was like, cool. And uh, I don't know. I think it's helping. It's, I don't know. It feels looser after I go there. So, yeah, and they start, wanted to start me on another medication. Uh, which is called gabapentin. So, I don't know. I didn't start it until just a day or two ago. And it seems to actually be helping, but it makes me really loopy. Like, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to work out because I think I'm having some side effects. Like, I just feel like, wee. <laughs> I don't really want to be on more in medicine. But if it helps everything, maybe, I don't know. So that's the big story in a little bit of an explanation. I had a fall, I hurt my back, fibromyalgia. I need to exercise, it's very hard for me. The things that I need to do to get healthier are exacerbatingly difficult because of the pain. So mm, that's my circumstance. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Right. I'm 54. I'm getting old, but I'm not that old yet. I shouldn't feel like I'm, you know, ready to pull, throw in the towel, but no, I don't really actually don't feel that way. I feel like I'm just coming to terms with whether or not I should have it surgically corrected or continue to, you know, keep living with it. So it does definitely impair my ability to be a upbeat and cheerful caregiver like I want to be so I don't know I don't know what to do you know I don't really want to have surgery I don't want to also live with 
back pain all the time, but I don't even know that surgery would make that stop. They're not 100% sure. So whatever, friends, whatever. So I'm uploading a video right now. So I'm going to go back. Yeah, we'll see. Tomorrow I have a busy day. I have a hair appointment and I have the dogs have a hair appointment at the same same day. And so I'll do that. I got to go to the post office. Daniel is asleep now. It's 8.30 p.m. We go to bed early lately. It's winter. It's like, what else are we going to do? Today was kind of, mm, it was like rain. It snowed and then it rained. And it felt damp and everything ached in my body. So I didn't, I did some things actually. I got some things done. But So that's my life. That's what's happening right now. Daniel, um, yeah, so what else? Is, he's doing good. He's good. He's been amazing, actually. We had a we had a fun afternoon yesterday. Whatever. I don't know. Just in the house. Just doing whatever in the house. Just on a reel almost. Anybody else feel that way? You feel like you're on a reel. You're you're stuck in this rut. For me, it's, you know, I get up, I come down here, I sit in this chair, and we have coffee, and the sun's going up, I take the dogs out, we talk about stuff, me, three of us right now while Sarah's home, and then everyone goes to work, John goes downstairs, Sarah goes to do her studying, and then I, hmm. I do whatever it is that I need to do, whether it's help with Daniel and his therapies or um, go to an appointment via telehealth or sit down at my desk and work on bills or sit down and edit videos and, you know, work on podcast stuff or whatever else I do. I just like always a million different things. Like I don't have one thing and this is what I've been working on in my therapy is that I need to develop a better timeline of when I'm going to do certain things because right now I'm sort of everybody's float like can you do this can you do that but I need a schedule I don't have one <laughs> I don't know maybe that's okay maybe that's how it has to be from now it's dark it's winter and everyone's healthy and happy and hang in there hang in there this pandemic isn't going to last forever. I promise. Not forever. We'll get through it. We will. We will. We will. Mm -hmm.